G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. Today's video will be an application video. Which crucible is best for what situation? If you are interested in seeing that, then stick around. Just before I start guys, I'm going off my own experiences and observations, so please show extreme care when working with any of these products. Thanks guys. Alright guys, I thought we'd start off with the homemade crucibles. I made these right back at the start of my channel. I didn't have a contact to buy crucibles from, so I thought I'd make my own. Now they've turned out to be rather good. You get about 10 or 15 pours out of them before they start to break down. But all in all, they're not a bad little crucible to have. If you're interested in making your own, then check out the playlist in the top corner. As you can see, they work quite well but I would only recommend them to the novice and someone that just wanted to see what pouring metal was like. Next up, we have the graphite crucibles, which are made up of graphite and fire resistant clay. They are an excellent product. These crucibles can stand up to extremely high temperatures. They won't expand or contract these crucibles are excellent for melting gold, silver and copper with induction heating, which simply means the crucible heats up to melt the metal. There's no direct fire onto the metal, so it burns and melts extremely clean. The only drawback I found with graphite crucibles is they do not work with my torch at all. Being induction heating, you need to heat the entire crucible before the metal will melt, but they do work extremely well with a furnace. It heats the crucible with an even heat that is caused by a vortex that spins around the furnace, creating even heat to melt the metal. This particular furnace was given to me by two auto tools who is a company that supplies them. Check the link in the description. Really easy people to work with. here just to show you that there is no need for preparation on the crucible no borax no nothing the only thing you could do is perhaps heat it to make sure there was no moisture in it before you melt metal next up we have the ceramic dishes which are the main part of my channel now I use them just about every day I have separate ones for silver and copper and um, I go through them rather quickly they are very fragile, they need to be heated up slowly before you start uh, turning up the heat too high on them, otherwise they will crack. But all in all, they heat up very quickly, they melt the material that you're melting nicely and quite an easy product to use. And now guys, this is where I am. I use my old crucible that I made at home as a stand. And I use a ceramic dish as my crucible for melting silver. Now the reason I use this particular stand is because the crucibles do crack from time to time. And if you're melting silver or gold in them, it's best to have a little stand underneath just in case 
to catch the metal because if you're holding it in your hand when it cracks, metal goes everywhere and it takes you a long time to clean it all up and it's very expensive. So this is the best way to go. I also melt kilo bars into shot using my new furnace, which is extremely easy to use. Okay guys, hope this video has been of some help. Hopefully it has. Please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you've not subscribed. I'll also leave a couple of end videos up here for anyone to check out. Maybe I will put the playlist of some of my Crucible builds and hopefully you'll enjoy them all. Okay guys, catch you on the next one.